Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Going at you on ECB Thursday here, 25 July. Quiet overnight range, as you can imagine. Ten pointer in Euro dollar. We're pretty much all just waiting now um, for Draghi and Co. to come in and do their little dance. It's pretty binary at the at the announcement level. Um, this will be 145 Swiss time. If he cuts, uh, knee jerk will be dollar lower. I mean euro lower. Excuse me, euro will be knee jerk lower. It will be quite hard to trade this because because um, of the algorithmic and high frequency trading and a binary decision like this, all human trading. Um, will be well behind the curve on this so I'd be careful trying to trade uh, the 10 point cut uh, one thing we do need to look at is uh, the monthly quantitative easing numbers which I don't think are going to change um, I am personally expecting no no cut today uh, but that's just a personal bias. I don't have any evidence uh, backing that. I just get the feeling that Draghi at the end of his turn here um, is going to leave things status quo and let Lagarde have a little bit of rope to hang herself um, when she starts. That's what I'm thinking, but again, uh, I'll be prepared for both sides. The key level in Euro... Uh, obviously 111, 111.08 so we, we've seen these two lows uh, earlier in the year and we've been basically 111, 113 now certainly 111, 114 for for a year um, so this will be interesting if we can get down through 111.08 on a cut or on a uh, dovish press conference Let's look at some of the other Euro crosses because that's where all the action is going to be. Euro Aussie. Um, interesting triple bottom here. Uh, 158.93. That would be selling Euro and buying Aussie. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, although it is risk on. So Aussie, Aussie could be slightly bid. Uh, let's have a look at Euro Yen. Sitting here at the lows, a lot of red bars there in your end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kind of nine of the last ten, all red. Uh, what we do know is there will be risk back through 80. A lot of people got short on uh, Tuesday through 120.80. So we know there'll be risk back through 80. Um, on a hold, this looks like to be the horse. Uh, so we'll we'll be looking to try and get long euro yen on a hold, and we will be probably looking to get short euro sterling on a cut. Let's have a look at euro sterling. We like euro sterling mainly because of the big red bar we did yesterday through fifty. And we also like it because sterling yen, uh, bullish engulfed. So there seems to be some demand for sterling. Again, we don't really want to question why. Price is price. This looks especially interesting if we can sneak through yesterday's highs. But we had this doji, and then we had bear, uh, bullish engulfing. Long sterling yen looks looks okay as a technical position. Doesn't make a lot of sense on the story side, um, with the exception that people are short sterling and FX normally likes to screw um, the flock. So the flock will get screwed with the sterling yen higher. But if you take this sterling yen premise and you move it into euro crosses, on a cut we like euro sterling as our horse uh, Euro dollar also uh, because this liquidity is better but the technical picture uh, 
is stronger in your sterling, we think. We'll have to see where we are, of course, because uh, we still have good six hours until this thing comes out. So I won't babble on and and um, and do any of the what if scenarios. I'll spend the morning visualizing what I think is going to happen. What are the possibilities of if he cuts 10, if he doesn't cut 10, if he's dovish, if he's not dovish. Um, and I'll be ready. Uh, now we've got six hours to uh, really, really think about this. I encourage everyone to do the same. And I will, uh, I'll chuck some ideas up on Twitter as we get closer to the, to, uh, to the bingo number day. And just see how things go. Never easy ECB. Um, but we have the whole morning to think about this. Pick your poison, either Euro dollar, Euro sterling, or Euro yen, or Euro Aussie, or Euro CAD. Uh, Euro CAD higher also on a non cut looks looks pretty interesting but we will uh, look more closely at this as we get closer to the time with that I will just uh, leave you guys to think about it not much else to say it's all gonna happen at 145 and then again at 230 ECB today plus durable goods also at uh, 2 30 swiss time good luck out there people this is, this is a day to make some money so really uh really put your concentration caps on and uh give this some thought talk to you guys tomorrow ciao